Good afternoon, this is Michaela Singer with grain commentary for the week ending September 27th. Corn progress this week had corn harvest in at 14% complete, soybean harvest came in at 13% complete, and winter wheat planting came in at 25% planted. Corn prices continue to bounce off the glass ceiling of resistance as it seems the market is unable to surpass current price levels. Updated extended forecasts are calling for above average temperatures and dry conditions which will accelerate the corn crop to maturity. Some thoughts are starting to come about that the dry start to Brazil's soybean season may bring a later start for their corn planting, so this may be a watch point moving forward. Warm and dry weather persists for Brazil, so that will continue to be a focus of the bulls in the market as they're always hungry for a reason to have a breakaway rally. There are some chances for scattered showers for Brazil and the extended forecasts out there, but the biggest concern for the soybean crop in the U.S. right now would be the dryness of the beans coming off of the field. Ranges have been anywhere from 7% moisture to 12% moisture. Most of what's been coming into the southern elevators for country visions has been coming in ranging from 12 to 14%. Wheat saw some production cuts in Russia this week, as, as well as news that some of Australia's wheat areas have been hit by cold temps and frost. Hard red winter wheat areas in the U.S. remain to be very dry, and some areas are seeing drought up to 50% compared to July, which was at 24%. Export sales were disappointing this week as we saw the lowest numbers for the marketing year, providing a little bit of pressure to the market. Monday's report is expected to have winter wheat production slightly lower than it was previously, same with spring wheat. Stay tuned next week for the quarterly stocks and small grains report on Monday at 11 a.m., so be sure to reach out to your Country Visions merchandiser if any selling opportunities arise. Thank you for listening to this week's market update and have a great weekend.